So the Minister can actually pose this reserve for scientific reasons within the state. You've come to the end of your journey from the mountains to the sea following the Waikanae Awa and you're now in a wetland and of course wetlands are totally connected to Awa as is the Awa connected to the ocean and the land connected mm. to the Awa. It all has an impact on the whole ecosystem. Yep. So Robin, how do you manage a river ecosystem? Oh, that's a, a very big uh, question. Um, I'm just going to point you to the fact we have a plan, um, a restoration plan. We've, this is our second edition since the group was formed in 2004. And uh, various councils and experts uh, gathered to get us, give us this plan that said, look, if you really want to tr restore this to what it used to look like, uh, way beyond, way back in time, um, before lots of human intervention, these are the kind of concepts and uh, approaches that you need to take. But no one owns this, we're all just part of, you know, um, moving slowly but surely to, to that state in the future. So there's a few threats to this ecosystem though, and we've talked a bit during the week in the web conferences about Predators, how do you control them in this area? Okay, <laughs> well the main, pre uh, the main pest type predators here are, are controlled by trapping. Uh, 44 traps can uh, at the moment, mainly around the river frontage edge, um, but uh, a few key parts at the far end here as well. Um, hu humans, um, you know, we shouldn't speak of them as, as predators, but well, you know, this is a scientific reserve and it's here for um, scientific examination and the whole concept of when it was put together in the late 1980s was that this w wouldn't be a place that had lots of humans going through it maybe just interested people coming through and walking through but now it's everything it's every man and his dog and his bike and his e-bike and his motorbike and and everything so we are going through quite a con concept uh, discussion with the Department of Conservation and I think believe we're going to need to see some change because this is an island um, of where biodiversity can really be experienced and if we want to retain it then sometimes we'll have to keep humans out or keep the activities of humans very limited so yeah they're, they're the two big things that really uh, wake us up day by day and say are we managing these properly mm, and it's about thinking about how to respect an area following the signage yep. not bringing your dog if it's yep. not wanted in the environment and it's been very cool to be involved in restoring this today by mm. planting and getting rid of some of those weeds. Yep. It's been a real journey and I hope you've really enjoyed the field trip and I hope you've got an idea now of how you might go about restoring an environment an hour near you. Mm. Thanks very much for having us today, Robin. Oh, it's great. It's been a fantastic experience for us as well and uh, gives us uh, a real, true sense also of what children are interested in and uh, to, to work with them is a real joy. Thank you. Kia ora, and I hope you can join us on another field trip soon. Ka kite anō.